the state of Michigan is an important reminder about warnings and how they affect local communities. And our Marissa Thomas tonight visited Springfield Township for a meeting to see if that community wants to install an emergency siren after having to take one down. Marissa, what did you learn tonight? Good evening, Mike. Community members and Springfield Fire Department had a long discussion tonight with questions, feedback, and concerns. Overall, they found the people who attended did want to see a siren in their community. Recently, tornadoes barreled through the Midwest, Michigan, and our border state, Ohio, that made this meeting in Springfield on potentially reinstalling an emergency siren all the more timely. The community was all overall supportive of us relocating the siren. Um, we're going to move forward with a plan to get it put back up in that um, west, west part of the community uh, so that they're protected during a storm. Even with newer technology, Sean Robleski with West County Emergency Management says sirens are a good idea to have. I mean, we've had cell phone failures recently with Verizon and AT&T and all the other carriers. And if you're relying on those to give you the warnings when tornadoes and storms come about, it just might not come around. Robleski says the reasons they're so loud is to make sure that everyone is alerted in time. So it has to alert you in the middle of the night. It has to alert you. You only have a matter of moments, seconds actually, to get into a position that you can actually try and survive a tornado or a severe weather event. So, I mean, those seconds matter. Chief Luke Weldon with Springfield Fire Department says the next step will be finding the money to reinstall a siren in a new location. We're going to move forward with trying to secure some grant funding to, to pay for the majority of the project to get it put, put back up. There'll probably be more meetings to come um, to determine exactly where it's going to be and, and how we're going to go about putting it there. You can find out more information on tornado safety and disaster preparation by visiting the emergency management website like Pima. Another way to stay ahead of the weather, you can download our weather app updated by the First Warning Weather Team. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.